school bus was occupied six times with two adults, one being the driver. The second adult was the bus aide. There were four students on the bus, ranging from high school to elementary. Um, the bus driver sustained minor injuries and was transported to by ground to Herman Memorial downtown. The high school student was transported by air to Memorial Herman downtown, serious condition. We had two students, one Hispanic male, nine years old, and another Hispanic male, six years old, were transported by ground to Herman Memorial in Katy. The deceased was the bus aide, and they were deceased on scene. Our hearts go out to the family that lost a loved one today. Um, I can't imagine how they're feeling right now. Uh, this is an ongoing investigation by the Texas Department of Public Safety. There's not a whole lot more that I could give you right now. Uh, if you have some questions, I'll take them. Can we get the um, bus age gender and age? The bus age, uh, the gender was uh, female. She was African-American female, Oliver Waller County and she was approximately 59 years old. And why was an aide on the bus, do you know? This is a uh, bus that, that deals with special special aid students. Was this a, a bus, you said it was a bus crash, was this a crash with another vehicle, was this a single vehicle? It's a single vehicle crash involving the school bus only. And what did it crash into or how did it crash? Well, it's an ongoing investigation right now. I don't want to too much speculate. I mean, the troopers are out there right now still doing it. Um, Overcorrected, lost control, and it rolled. We're trying to figure out how that happened. Was this a standard size? I have not seen the scene. Was this a right. standard size school bus? Yes. Any bus? What was this? No, it's a standard size school bus. And what school district is the bus from? It's Hempstead ISD. It looked like there was a lot of front end damage to that bus. Mm -hmm. Can you talk to us kind of about more about how the bus crashed? Did it roll? How many times? Well, I can't go into how many times it rolled, but when it was traveling on southbound on FM 1887, it overcorrected and rolled. And when it rolled, it rolled from one end of the roadway to the other side. So you're going to have top damage, you're going to have side damage, bottom damage, and you could possibly have front damage as well. Is there any indication as to speed being a factor, why they lost control? Too early to tell right now. It's still under investigation. But you said that the driver has minor injuries? Yes. That's good. Um, t is the driver able to cooperate and talk to you guys about what happened? They were taken by ground to Herman Memorial downtown. We haven't been able to fully conversate with them at the moment, but our troopers will get with them. And what do you know about the driver? How long, is it a he or a she, and how long have they been with the district? It is a female, and I am not sure how long she's been with the district. And. Were they on a traditional bus route? Is that the That's route? That's correct. They were on their traditional bus route. The kids were actually going home from school. And it was just four, four students? Four students. And the aide who deceased, was she a special needs aide or was she specific to the transportation department? She's specific to the transportation. I'm not sure what she is to the school district as far as inside the school. But for transportation, she is a bus aide. She's a bus aide because there was a, at least a special needs student on correct. the bus. Correct. Correct. So all the students were in special needs? Three of the students were. The high school student was not. And so the students came from different schools then? That's correct, because you got different ages. You've got eight, nine, and six, and then you have the high school uh, student as well. Were there any cameras on the bus? There are cameras on the bus, yes. Every bus has cameras. And do you think you'll be able to get anything from that that will help you with your investigation or don't know yet? Or I'm it's, it's too early to tell right now, but I'm pretty sure troopers are going to look at that. You just mentioned the eight-year-old. Um, earlier, you said a nine- and six-year-old were taken to Memorial Herman Katy. The eight-year-old, what kind of injuries? All right, so you have the high school student was life lighted. You have a nine-year-old. I'm sorry on that. You have a nine-year-old and a six-year-old that were transported by ground. And then you have a nine-year-old that was picked up by their parents with no injury. So two nine-year-olds and a six-year-old and the high school student. Correct. Were they, buck were they buckled in or were there seatbelts on the bus? Could you tell? Seatbelts are on the bus. That's correct. 
Were the kids buckled in? Um, don't know at the time. I haven't been able to look at the video. And all the people who were on the bus have the same some type of injury? Minor injury to serious injury. That's correct. Are you able to elaborate on what kind of injuries the students had? No, I am not. For the students, can you give us their genders? You have a black female high school student, Hispanic male, two Hispanic males that were transported to Herman Memorial by ground in Katy. And then you have an Hispanic female that was uh, trans picked up by her parents. In all your years, you said the bus was traveling southbound. For it to end up facing northbound mm -hmm. in the gravel, can you elaborate as to just kind of what that bus might have gone through on its journey to get from its starting position to ending position? Well, you know, you don't want to speculate, but when you're moving at 55 miles an hour or so, and a, I mean, you, I don't know if you've ever been in a crash before, but just because you're going one way and then you end up another direction I mean it can happen so I, I don't want to lead people into thinking was a bus going too fast we don't know yet we're still under investigation look like it maybe hit an animal a cow or something any animals involved and nothing at the scene you could tell. nothing at a scene that I could tell all right do you know why there was a car seat outside the school bus I do not and that's all I really got we don't have any more that's it we'll do a press um, I'll have a press release out as soon as possible. You said that the deceased was from Waller. Waller City or Waller County? Waller County is what I'm saying. Do you know which city the deceased is from? I do from? not. Not at this time right now. All right? And did the victims, uh, were they able to get out on their own, or did they have to be, like, uh, removed from the bus, do you know? I'm not sure. I wasn't at the scene. Um, I'm pretty sure some were removed that could be removed by first responders that were on the scene, that being troopers and EMS. I didn't hear you, but if you did, can you say and spell your first and last name and give us a shout Sure, title? Eric, E-R-I-K, Burse, B-U-R-S-E, Sergeant, Texas Department of Public Safety. All right? And earlier you mentioned that the high school student is in critical condition? I said serious condition. Serious condition. Serious condition. condition. But, and that high school student was airlifted? Correct. Okay. All right? Thank you. All right. Thank you.